Hello everybody, I'm Zolden, and here in this tutorial I will show you how to create a simple model in R tools. It will be a very simple model, the one that you use, uh, you attach it overhead of a unit to show that unit has a behavior, buff behavior. And this will be just a simple plane. Ok, let's create a simple plane. By default it has uh, four segments, let's change it to one segment, we don't need much, we only need what we need. Ok, let's place it to the uh, zero point, let's change its size to 100 by 100, ok, this is what we need, this little plane. And now we have to, uh, to attach, to create and attach a material. Ok, Starcraft 2 standard material, come on, ok, it's created, and now we have to, to configure the material, first it will be mask, we will need some parts of the plane invisible, and blend mode. Ok, I was asked to base the model on this icon, we will use it as a texture. Ok, let's pick it. I will use emissive map. We don't need some complicated materials, we will use just one emissive map and alpha map to cut the unused parts of the of, of this plane. Okay, let's pick the texture. This is how it looks. Now we need to copy the emissive flare to the alpha layer. Ok, now when we view this we can see that green channel of the texture is perfect to, to, be, to define what parts of the texture will be visible and uh, what is black will be not visible. Ok, we have to pick green here. Great. Now let's apply the material here to the plane. And now we can just go and try to see how this look right now. And this look interesting, it has a shadow. And we, I think, we need to remove the shadow from the material. Great, first no cast shadow, no receive shadows, no hit test and unlit. So it will be very simple to calculate. Let's see. Now it doesn't have a shadow and look like we want it. Probably we will leave it like this, but we need our visual to always face the camera. It is very easy to do. First, we can see minus Y is uh, the face, Y is the rear. Ok, let's probably make it face the camera something like this. So when the players will see uh, the plane, they will see it right just looking at them. And now we have to create a bone. A bone is here. We will need to create a bone to control how the plane look, where the plane look. It should always look at the camera. Okay, let's reset bones position to 000 and let's reset its rotation. Ok, now we can just adjust the position of the plane. It should be above above the, the zero plane. Ok, like this. And now we just attach the plane to the bone. Like this. Ok, it attached. We can check it. Yeah, bone controls its position. And now we need to use a special behavior. OK, there is a behavior in ed editor. What can it do? Let's see. I don't remember exactly where it is. Turret behavior. Billboard behavior. Yeah, this is what we need. OK, first we need to do what? To add bones from the view sele viewport selection. Okay. We need to add this bone. Oh wait, it's odd when I, when I press here, 
It was added. Okay. Look at camera. Yeah, good. Interesting. Will this work? Let's preview. Let's see. Now. Okay, this. Will this look always to the camera? Wow, it does. Great. Well, I think that that's it. Now we have to we have to just export the model. Don't forget to click this little checkbox so it will use uh, the texture from from the game, not from your local disk. And uh, it will look like you want the end.